let's discuss overriding parameters or parameterized modules before getting into what parameterized modules are let us say we are trying to write a counter say we have counter so if you look at line 4 for 4 bit of counter what we do is 3 colon 0 that is the vector size so this counter is now meant for only for 4 bit up counter means this logic tells where you cannot instantiate so that by making some alternations in that you can make it this counter workable for any bit counter any number of bit counter so if you look at line 2 we have used a keyword parameter parameter space n equal to 2 then terminating with a semicolon now this n is used in line number 4 n minus 1 colon 0 for vector declaration so this is perfectly working this parameter q or what it does is that n identifier has been assigned with 2 in this current module and that 2 minus 1 anywhere within the module if n is encountered then that n will be replaced by 2 so this is how uh, this current module is ok now this current module I can use elsewhere this current module is for only 2 bit up counter by making use of this kind of uh, uh, description that is using a parameter description elsewhere I can instantiate this counter module and I can make it workable that as a any bit counter not necessarily a uh, 2 bit up counter 3 bit up counter it could be it could be 4 bit up counter any bit counter so that is what parameterized modules or parameterized module means now let us proceed to next slide in this slide you can see a counter underscore para underscore one is a module in the line number one if you look at line number three it's a four column zero means five bit uh, count up okay but I you don't see any logic here that is describing a five bit of counter behavior instead the parameter is module earlier in the slide one what we have described that module is insta been instantiated here but the difference what you see in line number four is not only simply instantiation with the instantiation mc2 in between module and instantiation name module name and instantiation name you see hash within parenthesis five so this is how you redeclare really that parameter n equal to two there in the first slide with this file this is how we will uh, facilitate us to override that parameter value so now this module is working as a 5 bit up counter provided that counter what we have instantiated is present in the current working directory moving on to the next slide there we will show this another approach how we can override the parameter
here in this line number one if you look at counter underscore para underscore two this is another module look at line number four you see there one keyword d e f p a r a m meaning define parameter that is the keyword space c1 c1 if you look at line number five it's the instantiation name for that counter c1 dot n n is a identifier in that parameterized module counter is a parameterized module in a slide one what we have shown so c1 dot n is assigned with 16 so this way if you do this also overrides that n value in a parameterized module as you have seen in slide 1 this is a another approach to override the parameter here as well you see line number 3 15 colon 0 means it's a 16 bit up counter but you don't see the logic here simply we are instantiating the parameterized module counter line number 5 and then instantiation name that's it so how is that we are going to override if you look at line number 4 define parameter D E F P A R A M is a keyword with the help of that keyword we are overriding that so there are two approaches as you have seen in this previous slide method 1 and this method 2 hope you understood what is uh, parameterized module means same thing you can apply for bit uh, I mean sorry shift registers as well suppose say 4 bit left shift register we are defining or describing a parameters module later on we are in need of writing 32 bit left shift register so if you could able to write a 4 bit uh, or 2 bit a parameters shift register then that can be a while to overwrite the parameter and then um, write according to our own requirement ok hope you will try this one thank you Thank you.